In my last video, I showed the real number line with the different number systems. I also showed the need for complex numbers. Because certain numbers could not be plotted on the real number line, mathematicians created imaginary numbers. The term imaginary is to say they exist outside the real number line. Where do they exist? You can say they exist in another mathematical dimension. An imaginary number is called i. And it's equal to the square root of minus 1. So if i is equal to the square root of minus 1, 2i is equal to the square 2 times the square root of minus 1. And 3i is equal to 3 times the square root of minus 1. The imaginary numbers form a number line like the real numbers. The two number lines form a, pla a two-dimensional plane called the complex plane. The real number line is like the, is the x-axis, and the imaginary number line is the y-axis. All the numbers that exist in the complex plane are called complex numbers. You can graph a number in the complex plane. And it has the notation of A plus B I. A is the real part and B I is the imaginary part. Now I'm going to do a few examples. Oh. So 2 plus 5 I. So 2 on the real number line. And 5i on the imaginary number line. So it sits here. So this, this is a. So minus 4 minus 6i. So that's minus 4 minus 6i sits there. Um, and this is b. Um, C is um, 3 minus 4i, so that's 3 minus 4i, so it sits there. Um, D is um, minus 6 plus 3i, so minus 6 is right there, and 3i is right there, so we get it sits right there. Remember the previous equation from the last video, x squared plus 5 equals 0. We take the 5 to the other side and we got x squared equals minus 5. Um, we take the square root of both of them and it, because we want to get the x on its own and we get x equals plus or minus the square root of minus 5. We know we can't take the square root of a negative number. So if we write, write it in a different way, equals plus or minus the square root of 5 times the square root of minus 1. We know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to i. So we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5i. Um, this sits, this is an imaginary number and it sits there on the imaginary axis. We can perform calculations with complex numbers like with normal numbers. I will give you some examples. For addition, um, 2 plus 3i plus 3 minus 4i. So um, we wanted to get it out of the brackets. So 2 plus 3, uh, oh no, 2 plus 3i plus 3 minus 4i. Um, so we, I'm going to simplify this. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. 
Um, so 3i minus 4i equals minus i. Okay, so this is an example for addition, and this is written in standard form, a plus bi. Okay, I'm going to give you an example for subtraction now. So for subtraction, So we want it, we want to get it out of the brackets again. So two plus three i. So we do the minus times the three and the minus times the four i minus four i. So minus three and plus four i. So I'm going to simplify this again, which is 2 minus 3 equals minus 1, and 3i plus 4i equals 7i. This is also written in standard form a plus bi, and this is an example for subtraction. Okay? So... 2 plus 3i times 3 minus 4i. So 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 4 minus 4i equals minus 8i. Um, 3 times i th times 3 equals 9 plus 9i. Um, and 3i times minus 4i equals minus 12i squared. So I'm going to simplify this again. So i squared is equal to minus 1 because um, i is equal to the square root of minus 1. So the square root squared is equal to minus 1. Um, so 6 times uh, 6 plus minus 12 times minus 1. So minus 12 times minus 1 equals plus 12. So 6 plus 12 equals 18. And minus 8 plus 9 equals um, plus i. So this is also written in standard form, a plus bi. And this is an example for um, multiplication. Um, okay, so for division, uh, 2 plus 3i divided by 3 minus 4i. So we got two i's here, so we can't simplify this to, um, to standard form. So we need to get rid of the i as the denominator. And we do that by times it by three plus four i because then um, plus four minus four plus four is equal to zero and i uh, times i equals um, minus one so but whatever i do to the bottom i'll have to do to the top as well so three plus four i divided by three plus four i is equal to one so I times it by 1, so nothing actually changes. So 2 times 6, 2 times 3 equals 6, 2 times 4i equals 8i, um, 3i times 3 equals 9i, 
and 3i times 4i equals 12i squared. So now, um, 3 times 3 equals 9. Um, 3 times 4i equals um, 12i plus 12i. Um, so minus 4i times 3 equals minus 12i. And minus 4i times plus 4i equals minus 16i squared. So I'm going to simplify this. So i squared is equal to um, um, minus 1. It's equal to minus 1. Same with this one. So, 12 plus 12 i squared um, is the same as 12 times minus 1. So that becomes minus 12. So 6 minus 12 equals minus 6 plus 8i plus 9i equals 17i divided by, um, so this is um, 9, so this is um, minus 16i squared, so minus 16 times minus 1 equals plus 16, so 9 plus 16 equals 25, and minus 12i, and plus 12i minus 12i is equal to 0, so nothing happens. So, now I can write this in standard form. Um, minus 6 divided by 25 plus 17i. And this is in standard form a plus bi.